Hey, welcome back to the Game Nexus, and uh, welcome all you Division agents. This is uh, Dwayne Evo Knight here, and today we are going to do a little walkthrough on how to change your appearance in the Division. Now, this has been a uh, much requested feature since uh, the game launched, and I think a lot of uh, role-playing games in general uh, don't have this feature. Um, you know, sort of once you create your character, you're kind of locked down to what he looks like, he or she looks like, you know, and then, you know, months later, you kind of get a different feel for your character, and lo and behold, you want to change the way he looks, and some of these games just don't let you. And The Division was one of those games uh, until the most recent update, and uh, now you can actually change the way your character looks. So right here we have my character, and uh, you'll see here he keeps a pretty clean-shaven look and, uh, you know, standard military hair. My daughters jokingly uh, make fun of it, saying that he kind of looks like me. Um, so we're going to go down and uh, show you how to actually change your physical appearance in the division. So we start off in the uh, base of operations and we make our way down to the terminal. And for those of you who don't have the underground DLC, you're going to want to pick this up. I do have it, so I'm not sure how that plays out because uh, I know it was part of the update. I don't know exactly how that would play out if you didn't have the DLC. Uh, we bought the season pass on day one, so we've just been lucky enough to get all the content as it rolls out. So another thing here, just jokingly, uh, the division is kind of referred to as the walking simulator uh, by a lot of people. And, uh, you know, as funny as it sounds, I actually kind of, you know, like walking. Um, the division is a role-playing game at its core, and, uh, you know, I'm not in that big of a hurry to get to places, but sometimes, you know, just taking in your surroundings and, uh, you know, just in immersing yourself in that role-playing feel as you move through your base of operations, or even outdoors for that matter, just adds a little bit more flavor to the game. So here you'll see the terminal, and uh, if you uh, have spent any time in the underground, you're going to notice exactly what this looks like uh, with all the different vendors, and uh, obviously uh, new uh, vendors for the, the updates that have come out recently as well. What we're concerned about, however, is right here. And this here lives right to the right uh, when you come down into the terminal <clears throat> in the bathrooms of all places. Obviously, uh, they don't have a very good janitorial staff here in the division. Uh, everybody's too busy out there fighting all the rioters and uh, the LMB agents. So we're going to make our way up to the bathroom. And, uh, yeah, you know, a good janitor if they need one. But at least they were nice enough to put out the caution wet floor sign. That's always good as I knock it over. So as you keep going up the stairs, you're going to see a men's, women's bathroom. You're going to walk in here and, you know, just take it in for a second. But man, oh man, the developers really know how to make the division come alive. I mean, you know, people talk about the graphics and downgrades and stuff. But, you know, if you actually take a moment and look at the game world as you move around the division, uh, you know, from those early trailers, yeah, it may have been downgraded a bit. But, you know, the atmosphere and uh, the attention to detail is still here. Uh, you can't obviously dry your hands. That's sort of a bummer but whatever so right here you're gonna have a mirror uh, fittingly enough and uh, an interact and so we're gonna go ahead and do that and uh, we're gonna see what this feature looks like so voila very cool pan around and uh, you now have your character as he was the day you created him tilt your head left and right and again just a shout out to the graphics in this game I mean th these are good graphics I think a lot of people who are complaining about divisions graphics uh, don't take the time to really appreciate it now you got some options here. You notice here at the top, uh, you see basic is on is locked. So I don't really know what that entails. My guess is at some point you'll be able to change uh, nose, ears, eyes, mouth, that kind of thing. Right now, this update allows you to actually do more of the superficial stuff like your hair and, and such. So we'll go through it. Now, my character has been in the division for quite a while. I've been here since day one and uh, he's put on a good tour of duty. So it stands to reason he hasn't really been keeping up with his uh, personal hygiene as far as hair and such. So we're going to... Uh, Go ahead and grow his hair out a little bit. So you see here, you got all the original offerings um, from the uh, the original uh, character creation tool when you first started the game. My hair is gonna be kind of scruffy here, so we'll just grow it out. There we go. It's good enough. And of course, your facial hair too. You know, you can't. Uh, can't be a tier one operator, special agents guy without the uh, the appropriate facial hair. There we go. Give my guy a beard. You can even go back and change your hair color. I guess uh, maybe get some highlights there while you're out there saving the city. 
So then there's that. Uh, obviously, you can go back to markings, uh, scars, war paint, tattoo. I've never been one for all of that in games, but again, all the different uh, options exist. Uh, you know, if you want to add some role playing flavor to the game and say maybe he got, uh, you know, a little bit roughed up uh, in the course of uh, his uh, tour of duty in New York, um, you know, war paint, tattoos, all sorts of things there. And again, like I said, I've never been one for those kind of things in games, but definitely a lot of people do like it. Yeah. And of course the accessories. Now this was a big one because uh, a lot of people actually uh, really hated the fact that the Division uh, made accessories permanent. You couldn't remove them as part of your uh, appearance options uh, later on in the game, like clothing and such. So you'll uh, notice my character didn't have any, but uh, you know you've got your piercings. Now the funny thing is, is I had lots of friends running around with glasses, and it was kind of a running joke within the the community is that uh, you know basically you were stuck with glued on glasses. So this is cool because if you do want that little bit of added flavor, and you know, I kind of appreciate that in the division and most role-playing games, MMOs in general, I like the ability to customize my character, you know, and maybe tell a little story to go along with the character. So on a given mission, or if I wanted to make a quick run in here and grab a pair of my shades or my combat glasses, I could do that. And uh, you know, and there you go. And you can obviously come in and uh, take them off. Uh, there's no limit to the amount of times you can visit the character customization option now so once you're done with all of that you simply head over to your confirm button and uh, you update your appearance and voila my character now has some hair and uh, some facial growth to reflect all the time he spent in the division so that's about it for our tutorial um, hope you guys uh, like what we're giving uh, you for content and uh, make sure you keep checking back. Uh, we've got daily updates, and uh, of course now hey, these hey, days I've been playing a lot of The Division, so you'll see more and more Division videos, including what's behind those doors, and over there in the corner with that neon purple arrow. But in the meantime, thanks for tuning in, and uh, this is Evo Knight signing out, and uh, you have a great one.